Hey guys, it's Matt with All Things Vegas. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Here I cover all things going on in Las Vegas, including casinos, entertainment, and sports. I'm also a vlogger and journalist. I'll be doing lots of coverage each week and most days, uh, breaking news, uh, nightlife, you name it. If tourists are interested in it, we're gonna be talking about it and covering it, including uh, convention centers. So today I'm going to be going over some big events, things that are coming online over the next few months. It's going to be, this is an exciting time to be in Las Vegas with Formula One, the MSG Sphere that's opening up in September. We got Fountain Blue to talk about. I'll talk about current events going on this week for the following seven days. Today is Sunday, August 20th, 2023. And we'll also talk about some of the conventions going on. So let's get to the Formula One update. So the Formula One Heineken Silver Las Vegas Grand Prix 2023 will light up the sports and entertainment capital of the world on November 16th through the 18th. In a city where world-class hospitality is always at the forefront, Las Vegas Grand Prix will redefine the formula. Fan experience delivering an unmatched atmosphere at any ticket level, and they are expensive. We'll get into that. For locals, I would like to go, but I was just reading on the Formula One website. They're highly recommending taking a ride share, a ride share service to one of the designated drop-off locations closest to your assigned zone. While the majority of resort properties on the strip will have available parking on site, it's important to note that any resort located within the circuit will require a pass or proof of reservation. So you have to have proof that you got a room, you got a restaurant reservation or a show reservation for entry. If you choose to drive, please take note of the traffic shifts. Obviously there's gonna be huge delays. So the general admission is going to be, that's sold out. So the grant, there's different grandstands across the racetrack. The cheapest one I'm seeing is three day passes for $2,000 that are still available. And the one for 2000 is at the T-Mobile zone at the Sphere grandstand. So extremely pricey. Let's talk about the Fountain Blue Hotel that's going to be opening up the Fountain Blue Las Vegas is a new resort slated to open in December 2023. The resort will be the tallest building on the Las Vegas Strip with a total of 67 different floors. It is located basically across the street from the Circus Circus Casino. Fountain Blue's proposed features include 173,000 square foot casino and 3,600 plus hotel rooms. The 90,000 square foot retail area will cover two floors and include approximately 3,500 high-end retailers. The result will have a focus on conferences, taking advantage of its location near the Las Vegas Convention Center. The property will have more than 550,000 square feet of meeting space. The property is also expected to feature entertainment options, including a 30, excuse me, a 3,800 square feet performing theater, nightclub, and a day club on the ninth floor that will be about six acres. Wow. Let's talk about the Spear at the Venetian Resort, previously referred to as the MSG or Madison Square Garden. Sphere is a sphere, it's a spherical music and entertainment arena near the Las Vegas Strip. It's just east of the Venetian Resort. It's set to open on September 29, 2023, with U2 performing a 25 show residency called U2 UV Octon Baby Live at the Spear. I don't even want to look at, well, it's already sold out, so. Uh, who knows what the secondary market prices are going to be. So upon its completion, the sphere will be 366 feet high and 560 feet wide. It will be the largest spherical building in the world at over 875,000 square feet. It will include seating for over 18,000 people and all seats will have high speed internet access. Haptic technology is incorporated 
and 10,000 of the venue seats. Seating does not wrap around the entire spear, instead covering approximately two thirds of the interior while the stage takes up the remainder. The venue can accommodate up to 20,000 people in standing capacity. The sphere has nine levels, including the basement where a VIP club will be located. A total of 23 suites will be included across the third and fifth floors. The sphere's interior, this is incredible, will be equipped with a 16K resolution wraparound LED screen measuring 160,000 square feet. It will be the largest and highest resolution LED screen in the world. The exterior of the venue will feature over 580,000 feet of programmable lighting. At night, right now, they're showing it looks, it looks like a giant moon. It's pretty neat. And they can also put holiday themes, obviously, whatever they want. The Spear will feature a spatial audio system based on Holopoint's X1 speaker module, which uses beam forming and wave field synthesis technologies and is equipped with 96 drivers each. The sound system will comprise 1,600 X1 speakers and will be installed behind the LED panels along with 300 mobile modules for a total of 167 speaker drivers. The sound system will also deliver through the floorboards. 4D features including scent and wind will also be used. The arena will primarily host award shows and concerts in, a, in addition to other entertainment events. Though not designed to fit a traditional arena layout for sports such as basketball and hockey, it can also host ring sports such as boxing, mixed martial arts, and esports tournaments. So what's going on this week? So August 20th through the 27th, actually August 25th, we get Bruno Mars is at the Park MGM Las Vegas. August 25th, we, for comedy, we've got Jim Gaffigan, the Dark Pell Tour. Also August 25th, the National Stock, Stock Horse Association Futurity Derby. And August 25th, the B-52s at the Venetian Resort Las Vegas. I may try to go to that and cover that as well. Great band from the 80s. So this week, let's go over the conventions real quick. August 20th through the 24th, we have VMware at the Venetian Resort Las Vegas. August 23rd through the 24th, you've got the Whiskey Craft and Spirits Conference and Expo at the Mirage Hotel and Casino. August 23rd through the 27th, they have RollerCon for roller skating enthusiasts. RollerCon 2023. Let's see where that's at at the Plaza Hotel, Downtown Grand, and the Expo at the World Market Center. August 23rd through the 25th, the Fence Show and Security Expo the South, at South Point Hotel and Casino. And finally, August 24th through the 27th, we've got the Las Vegas Red Hat Funvention at the Orleans Hotel and Casino. So the talk is what's gonna happen today, or right now, over the next few hours with um, Hurricane Hillary. It's supposed to be hitting Las Vegas anytime soon with winds up to 50, 60 miles per hour. Right now, it's about 620. Uh, weather's fine. It's cloudy. It's not too bad. We'll see what happens tonight. If things get bad, I'll try to do some coverage and show what's going on. Other than that, this is Matt with All Things Vegas. Hope everybody's having a great day. We'll see you on the next video.